The spine consists of the intervertebral discs, which you see here between the bones, and there are various joints. We're talking here today about the sacroiliac joint, which is just between the sacral bone and the iliac crest. This is a back view of the sacroiliac joint, and again you see that it is between the sacrum and the iliac crest. As you, as you see, it is a long joint, which exists from the bottom of the lumbar region to around the S2 or the S3 level of the sacrum. And this is just a brief view through the endoscope of the sacroiliac joint. As you see in the mannequin, it looks like a large crevice. I'll put the rhizotomy device through the endoscope right here to ablate the joint, running the endoscope to the bottom and back to the top of the joint to make sure the nerve endings in the joint have been completely ablated. Here you see the endoscope in the superior aspect of the sacroiliac joint. As we're entering the joint, to begin the ablation. Now I'm proceeding to move the endoscope down the joint to ablate both the nerves entering the joint and the joint itself. In this picture you see the tip of the rhizotomy deep within the joint, so this way you produce a superficial and deep ablation, which is most complete. We're doing this to achieve the best result possible.